All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, so I'm going to do a follow-up on a video I made called What It's Like to Die. All right, so in that video, Tony the Baptist left me a comment. And I want to go over this comment just a little bit. I want to keep it under seven minutes because um, Tony's attention span only it maxes out at about seven and a half minutes so I'm gonna to try to keep it under seven minutes um, I understand uh, you young people like to watch TikTok. I get it you know you watch 30 seconds of a you know some girl doing a hula hoop or you know doing a dancey dance or whatever I don't know I don't know what goes on but it, it's full of from what I understand it's full of 30 second clips so I get it so I gotta I gotta you know speed it up here and um, get to the point that's what I'm gonna do okay so uh, real quickly um, Tony informs me that the word sur sepulcher sepulcher that means tomb. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Appreciate that. Now, here's the thing, Tony. John chapter 3, verse 13. Jesus says, No man has ascended up to heaven. Okay. And then in Acts 2, it says, David has not ex not has not ascended to heaven all right so what you're presenting or your buddy Bruce is this idea well the body goes to the grave but the spirit ascends to heaven all right so uh, David, is he in heaven? He's not ascended to heaven. Jesus says, No man has ascended to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. So, no man. Is David a man? Has David ascended to heaven? Yes, David is a man, and no, he has not ascended to heaven. This is not rocket science, okay? Tony, what you've done is you've said to hell with Jesus and what he says. You're going to put your trust in Bruce. It's that simple. All right, now here I come, and I'm challenging you on this. I'm challenging everybody on this. Who are you going to trust, Bruce or God Almighty, Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior? That's really what it comes down to because these two people are in contradiction with one another. It's really that simple. There's no way... You can justify this idea, well, your body goes to the grave, but your spirit ascends into heaven. All right, so right here you said, now you said it's not biblical that we are with God when we die. Let me enlighten you, son. All right, so first of all, I tried to find that, and, and I just can't find it. I can't find it at all. I, I If I said that, then I misspoke, clearly. So let me, real quickly, I've got two minutes here. Those of us that are saved, we are born of God. We have God abiding in us. And Jesus says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. What you're suggesting is that, well, you're not with God until you ascend to heaven. Therefore, when you're in the grave, you're not with God. 
again, Jesus says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So Jesus abides in us that, is, that are born of God. That'll never change. All right. So no matter what you say to try to make Jesus a liar, you will be found a liar yourself every single time. I'll end it on this verse. The Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Tony, who are you going to trust? Bruce or the Bible? 